Joy Lynn Offit, a 33-year-old mother of three, resided on the 90 block of Fugate Drive in Sykesville, Pennsylvania. Originally from Virginia, she was one of four daughters, but her parents divorced when she was only three years old. Following high school, Joy pursued her passion for journalism at Shepherd University in West Virginia. However, she encountered academic challenges and was compelled to discontinue her studies after the first year due to poor grades. Struggling with developmental issues, Joy had the cognitive abilities of a young teenager. She faced difficulties in maintaining employment and establishing lasting relationships. She was described by her loved ones as religious, trusting and naive. In 1994, Joy married a man in Texas, but the union was short-lived, leading her to return home after just two years. Joy resided in Sykesville with her infant son, Alexis Lex Brolin III, who was six weeks old by July 4th, 2007. She faced challenges during her pregnancy and was in the process of recovery. Joey had an on-again, off-again relationship with the father of her son, a man named Alexis Brolin II, who was also the father of her second daughter. By that summer, Joey's eldest daughter resided with her mother, while her youngest daughter lived with Brolin in Clearfield, approximately a 30-minute drive from Sykesville. On July 3rd, 2007, Brolin Sr. visited Joy's residence to deliver groceries and offer assistance while she was recuperating. During this visit, a heated argument ensued between Joy and Brolin regarding differing opinions about bathing their son in the sink, leading to Brolin's departure and return to Clearfield. In the subsequent days, Brolin attempted to check in on Joey and his newborn son by making phone calls, but unusually, none of these calls were answered. Brolin assumed that Joey was giving him the silent treatment, something she often did following a disagreement. A witness reported seeing Joey walking with a baby stroller in the neighbourhood on July 5th, when the neighbour greeted her, Joy ignored them and proceeded on her way. On July 5th or 6th, a nurse visited Ofut's residence for a scheduled checkup, but received no response at the door, even though Joy's car was in the driveway. The nurse then contacted Brolin regarding the matter. When he stopped by again on July 7th, the house remained eerily silent, but Joey's car was gone. He came by again the following day, where he left a note for Joey, but the car was now allegedly absent. On July 11th, another appointment was missed by Joey. Her absence from these appointments was highly unusual and raised concerns about her well-being. Her mother and Brolin visited the house again, only to find a stack of mail by the door and Lex's stroller and nappy bag inside. Brolin left another note, stating that if he did not hear from her soon, he would call the police. In the early hours of July the 12th, at around 4am, neighbours were startled awake by an explosion originating from Joy's residence, leading to a raging inferno. According to some neighbours, a car was parked in the driveway an hour prior to the explosion, but whether it was Joey's car remains unclear. The fire department promptly responded to the scene, extinguishing the flames. However, their grim discovery inside the house was truly shocking. In the bathtub lay the charred remains of Joy's six-week-old son, Lex, who was identified through DNA analysis. Although the exact cause of death could not be determined, pathologists chillingly concluded that Lex had already passed away before the fire engulfed the family home. Further investigation by the fire department revealed that the fire had been arson, ignited by an unspecified accelerant. Joey Lynn, along with her vehicle, a 1994 red Saturn bearing Virginia license plates, 
JXN8871 were both conspicuously absent from the scene. Her purse and identification were found inside the house, as was a slab of maggot-infested meat, which suggested that Joey had been absent from the house for quite some time. Following this discovery, Joey Lynn Uffett was reported as a missing person to authorities. On July 15th or 16th, sources differ on the exact date, Joey's vehicle was found in the parking lot of her former apartment complex located along Walpolani Drive in State College, Pennsylvania. Joey Offutt and Brolin had previously resided at the Nittany Gardens Apartments in 2003, which is located around an hour southwest of Sykesville. Joey's family found it peculiar that the car had been neatly parked in a designated space, as she was known to be an inexperienced driver and typically did not park with such precision. Moreover, upon inspection, the car appeared undisturbed and there was no evidence indicating that Joey had recently operated the vehicle. Despite an extensive search, no trace of Joey Lynn was found. A brief period after Christmas that same year, skeletal remains resembling Joy's description were discovered in Somerset, Pennsylvania. However, subsequent DNA analysis determined that the remains did not belong to Joy Lynn Offutt. It later emerged that Joy's mother, Sherry, became aware in 2006, the year before her disappearance, of her daughter engaging with men over the internet. These men propositioned Joey to participate in modelling and pornographic activities, prompting Sherry to voice her concerns. Worried about the welfare of her grandchildren, Sherry suggested that they stay with her. However, this suggestion led to Joey reacting strongly and resulted in a confrontation that escalated to the point where the police were called. Joey was subsequently removed from the residence in handcuffs. Joey was then mandated by the court to undergo counselling before she could regain custody of her children. After she vanished, police discovered posts that Joey had made to an internet group for single mothers dating back to 2005. In these posts, she alleged that Brolin was a former drug addict and felon and claimed to have filed a protective order against him. However, police were unable to establish a direct connection between her online activities and her subsequent disappearance. Joy's family holds the belief that she was murdered by someone who orchestrated her disappearance to make it appear as though she had harmed her son and fled. Her loved ones are adamant that Joey would have never willingly abandoned her other two children. The circumstances surrounding her disappearance remain ambiguous and enigmatic. Was she compelled to vanish of her own accord after the child's accidental death, or did she and her son fall victim to foul play in the aftermath of an arson attack? To date, no clues or evidence have emerged to shed light on Joey's fate, and no arrests have been made in connection with the case. Despite suspicion being thrown at Brolin, Joey's family do not believe he was at all involved and he fully cooperated with authorities. Police have never identified a suspect in the arson death of six-week-old Lex Brolin. Despite efforts to generate new leads and tips, including discussions on America's Most Wanted, no significant breakthroughs have emerged from these endeavours. On June 27, 2016, Joey Lynn's mother petitioned for her daughter to be declared legally deceased, a request that was ultimately approved. Presently, there is a $25,000 reward offered for any information leading to the discovery of Joey Lynn's whereabouts. In July 2022, marking the 15-year anniversary of Joey's disappearance, her sister shared a poignant post on Facebook. This week marks 15 years since the disappearance of Joey, the death of her six-week-old infant son and the fire that destroyed her home. Her daughters, then two and eight, were unharmed. 
I cannot begin to describe the manner in which this has devastated my family. Time has not healed the pain of losing Joey and baby Lex. It's hardest for Joey's girls and my mother, who cannot begin to heal without closure, who cannot have closure without answers. With no proof of life and all leads exhausted, our only hope of getting answers is with your help. The death of Lex Brolin and Joey Lynn's subsequent disappearance both remain unsolved. At the time of her disappearance in 2007, Joey Lynn Offutt was 33 years old. She is described as Caucasian, standing at 5 feet 3 inches tall and weighing 110 pounds. Joey has brown hair and brown eyes, along with a noticeable lisp, and typically wears wire-framed eyeglasses. Unfortunately, what she was wearing when she vanished is unknown. If alive today, Joey Lynn would be 50 years old. Anyone with information regarding this case are urged to contact Pennsylvania State Police at 814 938 0535.